In this video, I will show how to create window materials with inside the Ecotech environment and give some explanation to how window materials are working in the thermal analysis and how we can visualize the material properties in the Visualize tab. And also a bit of insight on how we can calculate and understand parameters that are not coming out of the box. I have now opened the Ecotech environment and I'm going to talk about how we can create window materials and how to get the data and how they're working with inside Ecotech. First of all, if we go to the Visualize tab, we can actually visualize in the Visualize tab here how transparent our windows are based on the window material. So if I double click this window here and I go into the color and I make it more non-transparent and apply this to both and apply changes, you'll see that now this window is pretty dark to look through. So that's, that's just a little key thing here. So let's just go up to the element library and make another window, call this window 1 and say add new element and then we can go in and give this a description. Now let's take a look at the different parameters here. The u value, pretty known factor, everybody knows that. The admittance is the ability to exchange heat with the outside and is of course effective by a good u value. The solar heat gain coefficient, also known in Europe as the g value, you have to type that in. And the visible transmittance, again, is a fraction of the color, which assumes that light colors will be very transparent and dark colors non transparent. Okay. So let's set this to about 75%, which is about a normal window. Apply to both. And let's go into layers. Here we can of course build up our uh, layer structure and we can use this to calculate the thermal properties. But it's again it's not calculating these two parameters here. These two parameters are crucial for determine the temperature profile within inside the building. So let's just close this down, just say apply changes and close it down. And let's go to the analysis tab here. You'll see that when you do the thermal analysis and you look at the temperature profile, it calculates a response factor. If this response factor is more than four, it will go on the notion that it's a heavy construction building. And if we go into the material again, you'll see that these two parameters are the alternating solar gain, heavy weight, and light weight. And if the response factor is more than four, it will use this parameter here. If it's less, it will assume that it's a lightweight building and it will use this response factor here. So we're actually working with the built-in relations of the model and doing a dynamic simulation of the temperature within inside the, the spaces. <coughs> so Again, if we don't have these parameters, we can get them from the manufacturer. We can go to Pilkington that has a lot of these inputs here and also has the formula and the inputs that we need to calculate these two parameters here. I'll include this spreadsheet. Uh, I didn't translate it into to English, but it's just telling us that the U value is calculated based on the layers in Ecotech. The admittance, again, is calculated based on the material properties. The visible transmittance, the LT value, is based on the color. The solar heat gate coefficient, or G value, is something that you have to get from the manufacturer or type in yourself. And the refractive index is calculated based on the material properties. And then these two factors here are calculated based on two different shading factors, TCS, shading coefficient total, and SSC, shading coefficient shortwave. And these two minus each other give us this number here. So here you get the numbers. So you can just simply type in the values here, and then you can type them in directly into Ecotech if you don't have them. If you're doing a thermal analysis, these two factors must be done if you have to count on 
the temperature profile within inside the, the room. Let's just close this down and let's go to the visualize tab. Let's go to select by element type windows and let's choose a new material and say apply. So that's about that's that about creating window materials. Thank you.